Ooh. Oh wow. Yeah. It's brown, it's heavy, it's wood. Waga waga. It's all, all, all. Oh my god, hi! What's up, Lawson? Lawson, our video editor. Lawson? Uh, Lawson, you know Lawson. Yeah. Nice uh, guy came to me a few weeks ago and said he watched this Vice documentary, Beerland, and this guy in the show brewed a beer with the log. The magic log, as I like to call it. Is he he's brewing the beer or fermenting the Okay, beer? so he's fermenting the beer with the log. So he brews the beer, throws this log that's covered in yeast, it spontaneously ferments, and voila, beer. Lawson says, hey, we should brew a log beer. Let's go get a log. And I said, no, man, let's call Log Man. Daily, Daily Crafton's his name, and first ask him if he will send us his log, which he so generously did. I which can't believe sweet. he agreed to this. He sent you the log. He sent he sent us his log. The, because, log. the, the log. log. Yeah, yeah, not a log, the yeah. log. Definite article thought, log. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I thought this was like such a cool project that he had done <laughs> and such a cool thing. He has a couple of projects he's working on and we'll put those at the end of the video. So I wanted you all to come here and do this thing that Daly likes to call contributing to the culture, okay? he has everyone touch it because it's not uh, like a sanitary thing. He likes to pass the log around, okay? And people get to touch <laughs> the log and contribute their own That's sort of- spot right there. Yeah. yeah, so. Mm. It looks just like you. It does. Yes. It's like a little <laughs> element. Hands on. Touching the log. Touching the log. Do we have some kind of like chant we're gonna do? This is my log. There are many like it, but this one is mine. Without my log, I am nothing. Without me, my log is nothing. <laughs> my goal is to use my log to brew a beer. My goal is to brew a beer that will satisfy a thirst and maybe get me a little buzz. This is my code, my creed, my solemn vow with this log and every log. So That's Tommy and Rachel had to take off. Yeah. So we're going to handle this brew day. I think we can do it. I think we can too. So we're just adjusting our water chemistry real quick. This is going to be different for everybody. So stir action going. Don't want it to plump. What kind of malt are we using? Only Pilsner malt. Only Pilsner malt. How much Pilsner malt are we using? This much. It's a lot of malt. It's 11 pounds. 11 pounds of Pilsner malt. Are you sure it's 11 pounds? Malt. It feels really light. Uh, yeah, it's 11 pounds. Do you pounds. even malt, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Knives. So we're gonna mash at 155. 155, which system is this? We're using the 110. The 110, 1650 okay, cool. watts. Yeah. yeah, man, let's, let's get her mashed in. You purr, I'll stir. Oh yeah. Kettle out, pump in, pump out, kettle in. It's like hooking up a tape deck to a stereo, except instead of RCA cords, you're using these little ball and socket joints here. Uh huh, there it is. Hey, log. Don't tell my sweetie pie. I smooched a log and a claw hammer today. So, Ross, we need to check our pH. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna kill the pump and then probably just fill it straight from the uh, spray valve. 100 and how many degrees? Uh, 160. There we go. So our starting pH, a little high. We're 5.69. So we want to be 5.2 to 5.4-ish. We want slightly more acidic water than yeah, we so have. Add some lactic acid. Cool. Pop the lid. Mm-hmm. There we go. Right. A number e tube. We got your cylinder, I believe. Yeah, it. And see. So this is times the charm. Third time. So it looks like we're we're sitting around like what, 5.35, 5.36. Looks solid. That's right where we want to be. 16 minute match. I'm just gonna start it from here. Cool. Just just because the dark side of the log. 
All right. 60 minute mash. 60 minute mash in. Done, though. We're sitting pretty. Step one. Step one, cut the plump. Boom. Yeah. Right off there. Yeah, and then you want to lift or hook? I'll hook one off. Damn it. Yeah? You got the better end of the stick. It's like riding a bike. Sweet. It smells like Pilsner malt. It sure does. It smells great. Yeah, buddy. So we'll let our drip 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. While it's just dripping, we'll uh, go ahead and crank our power up to 100% here. Okay, so it is right at six and a half. So our old pal log here uh, is going to provide an essential ingredient to beer which is the yeast that ferments the wort into beer, that turns the sugar into carbonation and flavor and alcohol. I guess like when you look at a strata that yeast can live inside of, wood's pretty perfect. Prior to laboratory science existing, people weren't really sure how beer fermented into beer, right? You'd just be like, oh, I add wood to it because that's what makes it turn into beer. And back in the day they'd have like wooden rings, like yeast rings or like yeast hoops or the famous like the brewer's paddle. Paddle, yeah. Just be a big hunk of wood shaped like a paddle that had a bunch of cool ass yeast living inside of it. And uh, you'd get like a mixed culture fermentation. What do we think is in this log? Here? He's saying some Saccharomyces. Okay. Is that Bathory? Sorry. <laughs> So this, so daily. this has Saccharomyces, it's probably some lacto and some brett. And then Bootleg Biology in Nashville is yeah. the company that isolated. I'm familiar with them. Okay. Yeah, I've yeah. Heard, I mean, heard of them. They're a name that people yeah. say to me. So uh -huh. they isolated what they wanted from this log and that's gonna be the culture going forward that he's using in his brewery for this particular beer. But the log lives on. That's true. Yeast can just like sort of exist in an inert form in a hunk of wood for a long ass time. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's and really it's pretty cool. cool. You can just pop it in the mail and send it to yeah, somebody. Totally. Um, so we're at temperature. We've started our boil. Hit the boil. So there's only two hop additions. Oh yeah. We're doing our first one at 30 minutes and then the only other hop additions that flame out. So I'm gonna set the uh, timer for 30 minutes. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's boiling. Bingo. This is our first hop addition right at 30 minutes. We're gonna add 0.5 ounces of mosaic hop. Some people say half ounce. A half ounce, Some one people half. Say 0 0.5. 0 0.5 fractions, decimals. <laughs> Whatever you're into. Tomato, tomato. The other thing is we're only doing an ounce of hops total. Right. Keeping the IBUs pretty low. Mm -hmm. No no 60 minute addition. The bitterness from the hops will limit the lacto from kind of doing its thing. Yeah. Because the more hops you add, the more IBUs, the lacto has a really hard time fermenting in those conditions. So he said that he had brewed a couple versions of this with zero hops and I think he just said it came out too sour. So he kind of, it seems like he dialed in the recipe with this amount of hops to get like a kind of nice balanced profile. Oh, oh, oh. Hey. Take it easy. Buckaroo. So we're gonna kill the heat because we're done with our 60 minute boil. Right here in the hopper. So I might as well get the, the cooling water going. Cool, man, we're chilled down. We got our log yeah. on deck. We'll, I just uh, like holding this log. It is. Man. It looks sweet. It's a really nice log. If you want to kill the pump, I'll yep. transfer the hose into the bucket. Get her into the bucket. Pumper. Pumper good. Pump up the, jam. Pump it, pump it, pump it, pump it. the log will reveal all in good time. All in good time. Oh, yeah. Now now give me a talking. pump on off real quick. Yeah. And let's do one more for good measure. That, that's all she wrote. There we go. Ew. Oh. Give it a little spin. It looks like our starting gravity is 1053.
Ready to uh, drop a log. Let's cheers to this log. It's beer to drink. Here we Here's go. Log. Uh, we're not the first, we're not the last, but we are and always will be a logger threat. Isn't that what they say? Yes. They say that. That is what they <laughs> say. They say <laughs> that. Uh huh. Are we ready, boys? Oh, dude. A lot of pressure. What's going on here? All right, the log like is that. going in. That might be. Let me put this on the. Oh, did you air it? Ooh. No, because I, I usually yeah, do, no, it. We'll do that. We'll be fine. We aerated it, pitching it in. We can aerate it with the log. Force. Make it, make mass. It, make it look easy. Acceleration. Yeah, it's uh, in the drawer. It takes a village to aerate a log. <laughs> Isn't that what they say? At least three guys in a bucket. Yeah, three guys in a bucket. And one log. Three, <laughs> three guys, one log. There you go. Yeah. Classic. All right, dude. All it's a right. classic internet video. All right, dudes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tiny Legos stuck on tiny Legos. Oh, oh dude, them's oh, really? to remove right the Legos. Put his suspenders on. Put his suspenders mm -hmm. on. Log nuts coming in hot. We're gonna call these uh, Yonkers tap shoes, right? <laughs> it's like a Chicago overcoat <laughs> for your log. Looks like Not necessarily the briny deep. What day is today? Right. Log, day. Log, log day. Log day. Log day. Is it Wednesday? Dude, got nice work, guys. I'm uh, I'm real excited for this. Nice. Yeah. All right. To the wood that makes it good. To the wood that makes it good. Thanks, log. Log life. Thanks, log man. So we're gonna toss this in the fermenter at 65. 65 degrees Fahrenheit. Degrees Fahrenheit. For three days, pull the log, let fermentation continue for another two to three weeks. Logo, logo. Probably should have hooked that up to a blow off. Yeah. We did not account for the. Decrease in headspace. And log. This beer truly is it's log jamming. Plan. The operation take the log out. Uh, nope. Dude, that smells so good. Mm. Yeah. All right, it's gonna be a okay. Let's take a little little sample. Man, <clears throat> it smells pretty damn good. Still pretty sweet at this point. Doesn't have yeah like any weird off flavor like it doesn't have real, uh, any kind of Brett going on. All right, log log nuts coming out. Ugh. Weights out. Log coming out. Log coming out. Amazing. There's like nothing weird going on. Just yeast and. Bubbles and yeah. no mold, you know, and like nothing bad, no pellicles, no nothing weird. No, looks Doesn't good. Doesn't smell weird. My mind is. I should clean this bucket off. Keep your uh, skillets good and greasy, and your buckets nice and clean. That's what. That's what my grandpa used to say. Bang! Check out this log. So Daly said we can rinse, just with tap water, we can rinse the uh, kind of yeast sediment off. Ooh. Or not. He, he said, said or not, but we should probably. Let's just leave it. I just, I'd prefer to just leave it set. Just leave it right here. Let it dry out? Yeah. Okay. Cool, well, uh, we'll be back in about two, two seconds. seconds. Recording. Sync sound. Yeah. Log jamming. Yeah. Does not have what you would call the best head retention. Has what you would call zero head retention. It's okay. Hey man, no judgment here. Got a nice even haze going on. Hey, you guys ready to smell some beer? <clears throat> Let's smell some beers. Oh yeah, smells fresh. Real fresh. Uh huh. I'm pretty excited about this one, you guys. It's got a like a citrusy vibe going on for me. Mhm. Mm Get a little of that sort of like fresh lawn in the springtime. You just cut the grass. Very. Slightly. I get a lot of different fruits, like mango and like a weird kind of orangey vibe, and maybe like even like a little pineapple-y. Like pear. Oh, uh, pear. Like a cold pear. Mm. Not warm. Not a warm pear. Not a room temp pear. We're talking like, like 40, a nice 1, 42 degrees. Cold English cellar temperature pear. Mm -hmm. Crisp. Yeah. So 55ish. Mm -hmm. Right in there. Gotcha. Okay. I think it's time. Yeah. All right. Cheers, boys. Cheers. Yeah.
yeah. Cheers again to Daly. Oh, Ship- cheers to Daly. Yeah, cheers yeah. to Daly. Daly for, for sure. shipping his, yeah. shipping his log to us. Beer. Uh-huh. We're not the most trustworthy folks ever, and for some reason, Daly trusted us with his log. One of a kind. Yeah. One of a kind log. One of a kind dude. Yeah. Aside from the fact that we brewed it with a log mm-hmm. that was found in a park that was shipped in a <laughs> box, and the box literally had a big like hole blasted in the side. <laughs> right. uh-huh. So it just collected whatever it was like in all in the, like, the U.S. Postal Service. <laughs> <laughs> <Air> Mail <laughs> Express. And then we all touched it. We were very unsanitary about it. Mm-hmm. I, it's d- like that aside, this is a great beer. It's, now yeah. you consider yeah. all of that, it's mind blowing. Yeah, to me, it's mind blowing. Like how, how good clean this is. This how clean is. it is. Yeah. yeah. How clean it is. It's so clean. I would go out on a limb and say that beer is phenomenal. Yeah. A lot of fruit flavors. Tons You're of, right. It's so fruity. Yeah. Pineapple, pear, orange. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Super, I would say, like, bright, mm-hmm. if that makes sense. Like, that just, totally makes sense. I don't know. It makes me think of, like, spring or summer. Like, yeah. just that, like, kind of fresh mm-hmm. freshness. It definitely has a tart, like, mildly sour finish. Mm-hmm. But, like, sort of a fruit-forward tartness, mm-hmm. a fruit-forward sour. Yep. Ross was saying, um, like a saison kind of a... Yeah, that sort of like a fresh, sort of mm. like almost a baking spice, that sort of... There's a lot going on. A lot going it's on. It's for sure, but it's crushable. Highly drinkable. Yeah, highly drinkable. Yeah. 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 It's not like a hoppy Mm-mm. fruitiness, you know, because we not. did not add much hops at all. I mean, really, all coming from whatever that funky yeast is, pretty much. It takes a village, right? A whole bunch of different funky bugs yeah. working together to yeah, produce a little... Fruit basket. Yes, yeah. that's definitely a mixed culture uh, mm. experience. Ah. We have to mention that Daly has a couple projects going on. Again, Daly, the owner of the log. Daly's got two breweries he's opening up. Um, one, is it Levenot or Levenot? Yonkers, New York brewery he's starting. And then 18th Ward in Brooklyn. And at, well, at least one, and maybe both of the breweries, they've isolated the yeast from that log, as we mentioned earlier in the video, through the bootleg biology services. And they're using that yeast to ferment the beers. Their beers. Yeah, their That's beers. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I would love to taste that beer. So they basically just, just came yeast. and it took out the Saccharomyces, that was in it? Yeah, they, they came, they, they isolated the Saccharomyces, and that's what they're uh, fermenting mm. their beer with. The yeah, we'll link to all this stuff. Um, we'll link to all this stuff below. That's a good, like, yeah. below. I think you do that. Yeah. Below. That's yeah. what the internet yeah. does. After the jump, below. Below. Yeah. Hit the more button. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the one. You gotta get some more yeah, of this, uh, this log here, yeah. man, yeah. Let's take it to the house. All right. Cheers. All right. Cheers, guys. Super fun project. That was so really cool. Yeah.